Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan from Mana Bluff here in a Magic Origins draft. We have a loser of a rare and a couple of Bowman Commons, but a pretty sweet Knightly Valor and a pretty sweet Fiery Impulse, which you can only see out of the corner, I realize, based on my new settings. Let's, let's adjust a little bit. Boink! Here's that fiery impulse, which I am going to take. Leaf Guilders also of note in the commons. Cobble Brute, Turek Wolf, Shaman, Playables, but blah. Um, clearly this is the best common. It is a debate, I guess, Nightly Valor over Fire Impulse. Nightly Valor being so good. But this is basically like a really good 5-drop creature. Um, and Fire Impulse is just super sweet, awesome premium removal. So, uh, yeah. Always go that route. Let's see. What else hath we here? under exciting red cards i could stick with a lightning javelin just to stay on the course to red um i could ship the patron the valiant and the jesse and thief we pass no um good blue cards in our pack and then um, we passed a really good white card so we could just start loading up white next to us um the two drops are pretty good. I mean, Cleric of the Four Door, Timber Pack Wolf, Shambling Ghoul. Those are all fine two drops, with I guess Cleric probably the best, then the Ghoul, then the Timber Pack Wolf. I don't think Majoring Bully is as good. So it's really do I just want to stake some claim in red with a Lightning Javelin, which is serviceable? Or do I want to start moving to a more powerful card? And I actually am just going to stake my claim. I don't care about Windows 10. Please excuse the interruption. Uh, I'm going to stake my claim a little bit, even though I do think Patron is quite solid. Um. And I don't mind passing two good white cards and then jumping into it later. Uh, it's really about what's open. Um, here, we continue to see more white. I mean, this is like the third um, five drop in white that we're passing, so I don't mind like if I want to switch over to Celestial Flare, which I definitely think is better than Dragon Fodder. Um, and then Disperse is good. Remember, I saw the Jesse and Thief, so we're seeing blue being passed a wee bit. Not really good black or green, though very playable green with Maya the Masses and Vast with Gorger, but they're not really good. I don't think the Hierarch um, is worth playing, and Sylvan Messenger is not worth playing all pure. I mean, the Elf deck just doesn't exist. It just really doesn't. Disperse best card in the pack. Um, I'm just curious if I want to go. I think since I'm, I'll, I'll ship some, I'll, I'll ship white. I think Disperse better, plus a double white card. Like, screw that. Who needs double white carding? Here's another Dragon Fodder. Um, maybe I just pick it up here versus like trying to take the really powerful but two color cards, which I don't really have right now. The only other blue card is Screeching Scab, just about as good as Dragon Fodder anyway. Here's the first like, I, I think Freak's Disciple is actually a very good um, four drop. It's the first decent green we've seen. Um, I'll just stick to some red action. Again, try to stake my claim in red. Um, interesting. So if I want to stay on the red path, Prickle Boar is actually a perfectly fine, like, really decent 5-drop. Um, but I've seen that um, blue is open, and Water Corsair is certainly better. Ugh. It's just, do I know I'm that route? If, do I really know that I'm blue or not? I don't. And I, I guess because they're about equal level, even though, again, I'd rather have a, a lower 3-drop, I just want to keep staying on one color, stay true to form. I'm s here's another Farika's Disciple, which is, again, a good green card, but we're not seeing any more white. There's been no black, and it does look like blue and red are the most open, so I'm the most interested in those cards, but I'll just stick to just red. And then this pack comes along and just sucks some mega balls. Uh, Volcanic Rambler I don't care about, but I could just take it for blackness. Blazing Hellhound's actually pretty good. I think I'm going to take it here over the Rambler. In the event, like, we go and, like, dis ditch the blue and go into a little bit of black. Um, seeing some green. This is the first white card we've seen. It's playable, but not, not amazing. And Meteorite, I don't really think has a place. Certainly not a red deck. Yeah, I'll take the Hellhound. It's just so much better than the Rambler. And if we move away from blue and jump into black, fine. Um, that just means we have to be pretty heavy red in the packs to come. Uh, since black really hasn't been open. Here's some really good blue cards. Happy to take an anchor to the ether. Um, seen a late disperse as well. I would take either or over like a dead bridge shaman to go with the hellhound um, or just the stupid red cards. Um, so yeah, blue definitely seems to be open. Could even um, take the ruined servitor um, if I wanted because I'm low on creatures, but I'm happy to take a nice powerful removal spell. Um, another dragon fodder is pretty lame, but I don't really like artificial epiphany and negate is also kind of like blah. 
just take, I mean, it's like a creature, whatever. Cobble Brute is actually, this is where I'd want to pick up Cobble Brute. Stratus Rock, there might be a deck for it. We'll see. Maybe like I pick up more Cobble Brutes, but Stratus Walk on a Brute or Prickle Boar is pretty A-OK. -okay. Majoring Bully is actually a, a nice, like, you know, it, we, is this one, you know, this is the second pack, but, you know, we wield this, so that's kind of cool. That's, this is where I'd want to pick up a Majoring Bully, because not every deck wants the Majoring Bully, but a lot of red decks will go well with it. Magmatic, Magmatic Insight, I don't like. I know it smooths out some, some draws, but it, it's just, it's just so not versatile, that sucks. Screeching Scob will take, fill out the two drop slot if we end up going blue. They're all dorks. We have very low um, quality creatures. Um, do I want another Screeching Scob or do I want a decent sideboard card? Eh. Two drops or two drops or two drops. Demolish for the sideboard. All right. It did feel like I feel like we were we're in the right color. Certainly with blue. Uh, bummer we passed that Jesse and Thief and we took the Lightning Gen lower. But uh, I don't think red was like super duper open. Um, but I think it was more open than some of the other colors, and I think blue, we saw the most uh, signals come out with that late disperse and anchor to the ether. Um, so get like some void mages or whatnot in here. I'm off on my on my little gas here. I highly doubt that the blazing hellhound will make the cut. Um, maybe we take another disperse. Demonic pack is worth like three tickets. And it's right on the cutoff. Generally, I say like when a card is worth a pack, I'll, I'll rare draft it even if it doesn't go in the deck. Um, this happens to be a do nothing. I mean, I could take Found via the Councils over Disperse, but I mean, getting a nice set of removal spells, you know, I'm happy about that. Unholy Hunger is probably on par with Disperse in the five drop slot, but since we're, I'm really looking to pay, play blue, I'm gone. I would love for the Foundry to table. It shouldn't. This pack isn't good enough, and this is a very good card. Uh, but that's really the only card I could see tabling that would be played. So I guess maybe Guardian Automaton. Yeah, I'll count on an Automaton coming in if I need to fill in the uh, the four drop slot. Hello, Sky Snare Spider. I'm going to take the Crow and Sergeant, but this uh, this green Sky Snare Spider is awesome. Actually, am I going to take the Crow and Sergeant? I do like Sword of the Animist. Eh, I need creatures. I have very... Um, low level creatures and low quality creatures that I need to take the sergeant. It's a good enough three job. I'm not like bum passing the sword of the animist. I'm not going to be abusing sword of the animist. We'd love for this uh, scout or the water course here to table. We really like in this next pack like a fiery impulse or some other like strong like in red only card. That did not happen. Seismic elemental is a good five drop. It kind of f finishes off our five drop slot. Interesting there's no blue. Someone like really go in on that Jesse and Thief and then saw the disperse that I took the anchor to the Aether from and kind of decide, okay, I'll go blue. Hmm. Flame Shadow Conjuring sucks. Plus its birds is very good. I'm surprised this is still here. Maybe there was a, uh, for the white drafter that we set up, maybe someone took uh, the uh, suppression bonds or whatever. Another Unholy Hunger. Um, yeah. Honestly, this is, I mean... Besides Blessed Spirits, I mean, Blessed Spirits, Seismic Elements, and Unholy are all kind of on par as, like, the best cards in the pack. Aerial Volley, good sideboard. Chandra's Fury, good sideboard. Eyebly Assassin's a fine filler. So I guess I'm not super bummed with taking one of the best cards in the pack. Now I'm starting to get pretty bummed. <laughs> Pyromancer's Goggles? I don't even know what this does. I know it's not really playable. Add one your mana pool when the mana's cast fire. Huh. Is that worth anything as a mythic? I don't think it is. Here's my little cheat sheet. And it'd have to be up in this category, and it's not. At five, it just seems horrible. You pay five, and then you have to wait to be able to cast it to copy spells and new targets. Yeah, we're not playing that. I'll take Call the Full Moon. I don't think it goes in every deck, but um, there's nothing here I want. I could take the Evolving Wilds, but who cares? Um, and the Call of Full Moon is like still like, you know, a nice... Um, type of finisher to go on like an aggressive deck with like the dragon fodders and stuff. We have a pretty good setup here. Um, I'm going to go, oh, man, Reef Soul. That's really late. The five mana removal spells are like, are, you know, destroy anything, but because they're five mana, like who really gives a flying woohoo? But uh, the Reef Soul, that shouldn't be here. Um, so there's an argument between Enthralling Victor or Thopter Engineer. If I was in black, I'd probably take the Enthralling Victor to get some of that uh, sacrifice um, synergy online, but instead I'll, um, I'll just take the lower drop with the Thopter Engineer. Uh, I don't have any Thopters, and I highly doubt 
I'm going to be getting um, that foundry of consoles back. Could consider um, going into a more aggressive, like look for some bonded constructs and like stratus walks to get into like this sort of uh, aggressive build. Ooh, Bogart Brute is a very nice pickup. Um, I actually want it over the subterranean scout because even though uh, the scout is a two drop, I actually have enough of dorky two drops. I um, will take it. Um, wanting to get like some good threes online. But I, I, I do hope that that earlier um, subterranean scout uh, does table. Um, wow, black just all the opens. We'll take the Scob Goliath. I'm not sure if it's going to make the deck if I end up going super aggressive. Um, I'm not guaranteed to do that yet, though. And this is a, a fine six drop. Um, it doesn't really work grand with like playing double dragon fodders in the two drop slot. Uh, so that's something to note, but that's okay. But look at all this black removal. It's just chilling. Just chilling. That late Reeve Soul. Hmm. Um, and Tuco Husk, no less. There's really no hope of active trees and doing anything. I think it's only playable in this format with like the black and Tuco Husk, Blazing Hound, Hellhound type setup. That being said, I mean, looks like black is open at the table, but I think one of the people next to me isn't black. I didn't see any in the first pack. I would bet that, uh, is this me? No, this is me. I would bet that, uh, JYC7890, 7890 is, uh, in black. Um, still, I'll just take the Active Trees. I'm not going to play the Volcanic Rambler. I have two 5-drops and a 6-drop, both which are better. Here, we'll take an Infectious Bloodlust. Maybe I pick up a few more of these, and I kind of go in on, all in on that like aggressive build. Highly doubt it. Ooh, Water Courser tabled. I wanted that to table, and I'm happy it tabled. Fantastic 3-drop to have in these colors. Uh, I don't need another Maritime Guard for the board, and this is actually a playable card, so adios, Eyeblade Assassin. Majoring Bully, if we like pick up like two extra Fiery Hellhounds, love to actually have a Stratus Walk with some of our big dudes here. So this will be kind of fun. I'm down for all this. Holy moly, I'm rewarded. We're the rogue. Thank you. Oh, so thank you. Um, great, uh, Blade Murata, uh, also a good... Uh, this is actually a powerful pack as I start digging in on uh, That's a good uh, rare. Blessed Spirits we saw again. Valor and Wars I like. Royal Rogue, still the best card in the pack. Super happy to have it. Um, Evolving Wilds might table. I'm probably more planning on the Cobble Brute, um, filling in a 4 drop. And that'll probably max our 4s unless we get some better 4s online. Like another Royal Rogue would be insane. Um, yeah. So maybe we do play some, some enchantments. I don't know. Titan Strike, though, I'd like to um, see the one that tables. What else we got here, guys? Suppression Bond's so good. I would, I'm, for being a red burn deck, I don't have a lot of good removal in the red. Like, I mean, I would love to have two or three fire impulses, but that ain't happening. Fire Phenom Elemental's fine. It gets in that four drop slot, and it's okay. Um, it's really better than Cobble Brute because of the haste. And once it's renowned, it's a, you know, a 4 3, not a 4 2. So it still works, though, with the Stratus Walk type of game plan. Uh, I don't think I'm aggressive enough for a Scrapskin Drake. Plus, I just don't like the lack of versatility in a scrap Scrapskin Drake. What I really would like are better two drops. I hate that I have these two Majoring Bullies, and it looks like I'm not going to be super aggressive to where like I'm going to be super confident, able to uh, like um, bash these in. And then Screeching Scabs and Dragon Fodder is like, the worst two drops in these colors. They're important, but they're just, like, horrible. Uh, like my threes, though. My threes are good, which is another reason why I'm not taking the Drake. My four drop slot's a little more open, and I do think Elemental's a better creature. Let's see. Sigiled Starfish and our third Disperse, or a Subterranean Scout. I, I think I'm going to take the Sigiled Starfish. I think it's just too good, and I'm not really an aggressive player. I don't play aggression well. So I'm happy to start doing this. Especially because I do have some really nice creatures in the four and above slot um, to start taking over. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan. That's a two drop I can get behind now. Uh, I could start going deep with the Infectious Bloodlust. I don't like Ring Warden Owl. I could try to get the Evolving Wilds to splash the Scab, but that seems like a waste of life. Rogue's Passage kind of does what I want Stratus Walk to be doing. Uh, 
What flyers do we have? Crown Sergeant, Thopter, Engineer, and Warlord Rogue. That's it. But we have a lot of like big um, power guys in our red spells. They can just take over the game with the Rogue's Passage. Yeah, I'm going to take the Rogue's Passage here, actually. It's better than the other options. That will make the deck. Um, another combo. I think that one color it's going to table. And plus, like, I've kind of got my 15 creature slots set up. I'd rather have a Titan Strength, which is nice. Um, I may not play the Call of the Moon or the Stratus Walk. I'm not entirely sure yet. But uh, I think Titan Strength is a, is a fine enough combat trick over a second Cobble Brute. Maybe if I didn't have the first one and I didn't think that other one would be tabling, I uh, I would go there. Ooh, another Boggart Brute. Yes, please. If I decide what I'm cutting for it, probably one of these three low-level spells or cutting a two-drop. But I really, I still like having five two-drops. I would just love to upgrade the two-drops. That's all. But this is a really good three-drop. So maybe we cut one of our high-end cards. Um, what are the Underworld? Water Courser is the pick. I don't really have that many artifacts, and this card is, has proven pretty lame. I don't know if I'm going to play it now that we're pretty set on creatures. Maybe if I play against an opponent where I don't feel like I need as many two drops, I can cut my annoying dragon fodders and screeching scobs and play like more in the three drop slot. I'm definitely taking it over Guardian Automaton for sure. Yeah. Uh, another prickle bore is probably not gonna make the deck. Another stratus walk. I think one stratus walk and one rogues passage is just a okay. I don't think I want to go all in on that game plan. Um, again, if I'm playing against like a slower player, I could see myself siding in the prickle bore. Yeah, here's that cobble brute table. Here's an evolving wilds. Here's a titan's strength. How interesting. What does my deck want? Let's make some deck building decisions. I just really like the balance I have on my cards right now. Where I'm already looking to cut something. You know what? I kind of like the idea of this. Maybe cutting a creature. Maybe just playing another Titan Strength. Yeah, I don't really want that last uh, Cobble Brute. I'm going to cut this Flesh Bag Mirage should not be there. Black is so open at this table. Whoever is next to me that's playing back is like, ooh, that's a nice little upgrade from our uh, Screeching Scob or Dragon Fodder. Not much of an upgrade, but it's a nice little upgrade. It's a nice little upgrade. Send to sleep, never going to be played. All right, I feel like I was in the right seat or the right colors for my seat, so that's cool. Really have to decide how I'm building this deck. I'm not going the super aggressive route. I just love all my three drops. I think we're going to cut some of these dragon fodders because of scab glide. Like I said, it's it's a bit of a non -bow. It's pretty unexciting. Um, well, at least cut one dragon fodder. Maybe we'll cut two. Let's see what that looks like. So, these dragon fodders are MIA, and this is the deck. How do I like it? It gives us four two drops, which is fine, and then we can side in some aggression should we feel the need. It would be kind of fun to play a little more aggressive build. But it's actually thinking instead of siding aggression, we could side it in. We have plenty of good two drops to side in, you know, like on the draw against an, an aggressive deck. But I think I'm going to uh, stick to this like base build right here. Um, I'm kind of bummed we don't have another fiery impulse. But our, our quality of creatures are good. We have two drops to stay alive. Our three drops are actually pretty strong. All of our creatures are actually pretty strong, so that's nice. Um, and we do have some serviceable interactive spells, so it's a nice solid deck. Um, I like the Stratus Walk with all this high power stuff, but I think Rogue's Passage is going to do that job well enough. And I'm not too sure I want to cut the Stratus Walk for an interactive spell. It is quite good in this deck, though. 
So this is what I'm considering as possible other cards, and this is definitely being played. I don't. I definitely don't want the other uh, prickle bar. I definitely think seismic elemental is better. Um. Yeah, I just. This card I know has some really strong upside, but I'm thinking I'm only gonna I'm gonna same thing. Keep on the board if I don't see a lot of removal. I don't care so much about the drawback of like um if a player casts two or more spells a turn, because I you know, I would consider this more like in the five drop slot anyway, just putting it on one of my big dudes, you know, that's already has evasion or something and just getting in there for a while. It's more like I just don't like that it's an enchantment and there's removal. Um that that's that's my thing. Um, Stratus Walk, though. The thing is, I just don't want to cut my creatures for it. Uh, I like my curve, and I actually like these spells better than uh, having the Stratus Walk to help, like, finish out a game. Um, I think I have enough evasion and, like, strong cards that I can get there. And with the Rogue's Passage, it's just redundant in the deck. Um, eight and eight. It's okay. I would love to have more like nine for the Whirler Rogue. Eight's fine for the seven months because it's a five drop version, but I guess eight and eight's like appropriate. It, it's a little strain, but with the Sigil Starfish, it might help out. And we and all of our twos and threes are at least not double spelled. So even if a Whirler Rogue or the Elemental stays in hand for all, that's okay. Plus they're powerful enough that they get stuck in hand and get played like not on curve. Um, they'll still come down and have a strong effect um, to catch up a little bit. So. That's fine. It's a little bit of a pain. Um, you know, this, this Rogue's Passage is not freeing this deck based on the mana requirements. But it's only one card in each color, so I'm not super stoked. I'm not super stressed about it, rather. Oh, I like this deck. Let's uh, play some Magic. See you in round one.